Dr. Jude Jepo, and today we are going to be continuing on the series of videos that we'll be making to transform our geographic coordinate system into the projected coordinate system using several software. In the previous videos, about three videos now, we have demonstrated how you can do this using QGIS, using Rockworks, using Sofa, and using Excel. Today, the demonstration will be based on using ArcGIS to perform this same transformation. So how do we start? We need to load our data. But before we load our data, we have to make sure that we set our environment properly. So you go to uh, geoprocessing, go to environments. Now we want our workspace to be in a place where we want it. In this case, it is here, this uh, coordinates transformation. And then um, that is where we have our data. And it is the same here. If it is not, you can always copy it and paste it here. So now whether we have it, it's okay. Now we need to set our layer uh, coordinates. This layer should be in uh, WGS 1984D <clears throat> geographic coordinate system. This because that is how our, because our data is in uh, longitude and latitude. So we click apply and we click OK. So the next thing that we're going to do is to add the data. So we go to file, add data and act X, Y data. In this case, we have to go to where we have our data, we have it here, the coordinate CSV, and we have the X and Y have been mapped appropriately. The coordinate system here is this GCS WGS84, which is right, and we can click OK. It says it doesn't have the object ID field, but it will add it. So we say OK here. So it has added it. The next thing we're going to do, we need to export this. OK, let us look at the attribute table and see the data that's been important. We have our X, Y here and the shape is the point shape the problem that is okay so what we need to do is to export this data go to data go to export and we're exporting it to to this place so what do we name it we name it coordinates and we click on okay then it says do you want us to add this exported layer as a map layer the answer is yes so we are going to do that so we click on yes so there is no need we can remove this in order to reduce our workload here so the next thing we're going to do we are going to open the attribute table and we should add a uh, field so we are adding x1 or whatever name you need to name it or x in uh, utm and um, it should be a floating point number and we are adding another one and uh, we are adding y in utm and um, we are using the floating point number so the next thing we're going to do we are going to calculate geometry using this but uh well, the best thing that we're going to do is to uh, export this to be in the form of uh, a projected uh, system so uh we don't need to do that but the other fix is that we'll change this layer coordinate system here to be uh wgs 1984 for now i mean with utm zone 32. so why we have done this we click here and right click and go to calculate geometry it said we're about to calculate outside an edit session this method is faster than calculating in an edit session, but there is no way to undo your results once the calculation begins. We should continue. We say yes, but it's advisable that you do this in the editing session, in editing mode, so that you can undo your results when you are not correct. So we say okay. So what it wants to calculate is the x coordinate of the point, but we want to use the coordinate system of the data frame, and we want it to be in meters here. So we click on OK. It still gives us this warning. We will tell it to continue. So it has been able to calculate the UTM of um, the X coordinate. We do same for the Y. Calculate geometry. We go to yes. And uh, now we need the Y point of this. And we need this. We need it to be in meters. We say this. And we click on yes. So this is how this data has been transformed. Then you can now use this UTM for whatever purpose you need them so i hope you have seen that uh, doing one particular thing that a lot of software are capable of doing the same thing so in the next video we shall learn different more things thank you very much for watching